Welcome to my playthrough of Black Myth Wukong. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, welcome back. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I have not played this in about a week. Um, I was just a little sick and uh, still not 100% the greatest. My throat is just sore and... Uh, I feel like I'm losing my voice almost. But yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, trying to get back into the game again. And carry on with it. Now I remember we had the NPC over there for the Painted Realm. We looted this area. There was a section over this way that I wanted to kind of go and explore. So we saved that guy over there. And there's an area over here. The NPC is gone. We did get that new gourd over there. I did equip it. Oh god, that scared me. I thought I had some guy chasing me. I have max charge speed, but it doesn't feel like it's super fast. He's just knocking away from me. He is. We still got him though. This guy fighting. This is decent damage. There's someone over there, but whatever. does this bring us oh we just did a 180 all the way around all right nothing important over there then we still got all our heals there's the heal shrine over there yeah anyway i hope you guys are doing well i'm just trying to get back into the swing of things ah he knocked him out of the way take a hit but whatever I may die a couple of times just cuz still trying to remember the controls and, and everything or anything down this way I'm my keen eye or the stream Surely find something interesting. Ow. Okay, let's have a look. There is a path up there. We came down this way. Let's have a look. What's over here?
Yeah, if I don't talk so much, it's because my throat is still pretty sore. Um, yeah, really appreciate you guys sticking with me on this. Um, I know I'm pretty behind a lot of people in terms of their progression. Lots of people have already completed this many times. And get this guy first. That way I can focus on that other guy's ass. Then we'll pick up the forbidden fruit and carry on. Steel pair. Another one of those bird things over there. Surely cruel. <laughs> I give him that. Mute half wit like you will be a lamb to the slaughter if you fix him. <laughs> All right. Um something over there Oh, this is a boss area.
Damn, I missed my thing. Man, is this guy gonna come down or what? I am dodging as he's coming down. I'm a bad. Did he not die? What was that? General has passed on. The once mighty generals, now tortured and shattered. His teardrop holds great power. Take it as his thanks to you. Where's this teardrop? Can't get over there. I guess we're walking backwards again, but he said there was a teardrop somewhere, right? I did see it fall out of his eye. Just don't know where it fell. Anyway, just looking around, making sure I don't miss anything. I would have thought that would be loot over there. I might take a quick run back and see if there's any missed loot.
Oh, there's the tear. Never mind. Good old tear. Drinks and soaks. <laughs> he hits him on the way down. Alright, so these little green orbs, I just realized what they do. So if I use one heal, this will give me my heal back. Just for that one though. If there's two floating around, you get two heals back, etc. Alright, so we're back over here. I just heal by accident. Um, Alright, no worries. Let's see what we just got. When at full health, using the gourd recovers a moderate amount of mana. I have a lot of charges on my gourd though. I would... Really nice. Oh, I should probably rest up. Made my way left. That's our little guinea pig friend. You want to attack him? Oh, it's one of those guys. Those things are annoying. Make sure there's no other enemies around that will join in the fight. I see something flash flashing over there as well. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys did fine. Yeah, it's just that time of year, seasons are changing and uh I need to take colder now. Hey, okay, I think that's the only guy that's left. that guy healing me? Should have waited a second, see what that did. Thought he was healing. Ah, a handy cave to shelter us from the wind. If I fall sick from cold, boy, the blame falls square on you. Yeah, that enemy is probably one of the tougher enemies in the game, I would say. Easier you. Where the path narrows, danger lurks. When he says the path narrows and danger lurks, I'm expecting something to pop out from the side somewhere. We'll go that way in just a sec.
Don't pull up. You have this chest over here. Nothing else. All right. We need that stuff to craft armor and such. So this is one. So if I use this, I will get one back. keep pushing forward here it may not seem like it but I actually did take a uh, little bit of a break um, yeah I would say maybe about a day um, yeah just uh, being on and off with health and such so I don't know just um, in taking it easy you know That full aggro with those guys. You cost me and you fall. Hey, meditate spot, nice. Yeah, I've just been a little under the weather and just haven't really been feeling like gaming that much, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm so far behind in this. You know, I, I wish I was further, but... Also, I gotta look at my audience and I gotta try different games as they come out as well, so... You know, we're just testing. I'm gonna play this anyway, it's just... Like I said it right from the beginning, I'm playing this somewhat casual. And I'm also playing, um the Star Wars game somewhat casual as well. Let's see what we get here. Enhanced Tiger Subduing Pellets. I think that increases our damage or something. But that allows us to create um, new pills, new potions. That was a nice crit. How did I miss that? So this, as you can see, would get us two, uh, two charges on our gourd bag. But we're just gonna grab it because 720 will. The only thing is our uh, big head dude there is on cooldown now. Kind of sucks. I thought I got that. Hoping it would have hit him in one shot. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I don't know. If you want to see more of this game, let me know. Uh, leave a comment, but right now it's I just play it every now and again when I feel like it. I mean, I don't know if there's any hurry behind it. There is a, a DLC that's coming out soon.
Well, they've announced two DLCs. Yeah, they announced two. So basically, this is a six chapter game. And apparently it was supposed to be 14 chapters, so they do have content for two DLCs before they release the next version of the Black Myth games that they want to release. Redhead Yaksha. Oh, we're not going to switch to it just yet. I'm sure there's really crazy builds and stuff. Moderately increases heavy attack damage. That could be really good. But yeah, we're just going to keep playing at our pace and take our time. The boss area for sure. Yep. I need a rest. That pavilion looks like a good place. Let us. Okay. We need a heal. There's one just over there. Oi, kid. You look suspicious. What kind of Yaogwai are you? Shh. I'm looking at that Buddha over there. See his belly button? It's so big. Me and you, we look way smaller. Buddha? Where is it? You see no Buddha because you think no Buddha. No thought, no sight. I, the sacred Gorman, saw enough Buddhas before you were born. Foolish brat. You didn't see that coming, did you? True hearts find their path, and the Buddha is on that path. Why not worship with a true heart? The path might just show itself. Worship my hoof. Visit temples, kneel to figures. You tell no black from white. That's my master. I am fed up with all these skin-deep rites. <laughs> no true heart, the path is sealed. With true heart, it's revealed. Okay, we've got a path over here. Visit each temple you encounter and worship every Buddha you see. Or the true face of Buddha will always remain elusive to your eyes. Okay, so there's something over there. That looks like a Buddha. I see heels over here as well. I'm gonna pop up. Take a little look. Okay, we'll go over to the right first, then we'll go to the left. But yeah, as I was saying, there's no real hurry right now for, you know, completing any of the games. This is a pretty big game, apparently. Even though it's only six chapters, we're on chapter three. Still quite a few hours of gameplay to go. Okay, this is the way we came. The Buddha, there's a heal over there. Okay, we're going this way. So there's no flying bat things. They gotta increase the size of the uh, the hitbox on those things. Okay, we're going on up. Think over here, all right. Yeah, okay, we're just getting will for no reason.
Okay, I see enemies over there. Let's grab this chest. One thousand will, nice. Him one more time. Thank you. I've seen many pot bellied bodhisattvas, but none quite like this curious pot bellied boy. Is there anything over here? Hard to see where there's an actual path. boss area it's kind of open not really there has to be a reason that this is an area that we can come to Feel like I missed something. I'm gonna check. Unless it was for that chest. Oh, nothing over here. All right, uh, so I went up there and took another quick look around. I couldn't see any other path to take up there, so we'll... Maybe have to venture up there afterwards or later on or something, but maybe we have to hit all the four Buddhas in order to open up something. There's going to be a reason why that's there. Okay, so we got this. Look at this. Ah, I get it now. For Buddhas, that boy said. Ha! Ah, there must be four Buddhas to worship. <laughs> Loony monk. God reason with him. Hey. So, there was none up top. That was the first one. I'm going to assume... Gotta go this way. Grab it just because of the will. I mean, I've heard people say that this isn't a Souls game, but it actually plays very similar to one. There's one. We might as well get rid of this guy. 
Damn, only two charges and it knocks them out in one shot. Just go through the motions, boy. Who knows if it's true or not? That little monk who's speaking riddles. But yeah, I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff. Of people like doing some crazy, crazy builds with the uh, with the monkey, and it's really cool. Right. Can't see. Say those dudes give some good XP. Okay, this is number three. Back when we journeyed to the New West, our master took it from Mount Lingshan. He visited and kneeled to every figure until Yellowbrow captured him. Uh, I'm not my master. I'd like to go wide just in case, but I don't know which way wide would be. He was just a random enemy on the way. There's one up there, though. Oh, he's not going to be alone, right? Oh, he was too far away. I think I figured it out. Like, usually, I try to dodge mid attack. And I think I'm. I press the button and I'm doing the attack already. So you can't really mash the buttons. Yeah, you can't mash the buttons, otherwise you'll miss the chance to parry, so you gotta press them timely, and then when you need to dodge, you have to dodge. So there I did, but I think I didn't dodge far enough away. Alright, it took us all the way around. Alright, let's uh, see what's down here. Pop up. Two right there. Two charges. We only need one. Not bad. We only used one thing. And you see we got a couple buffs. Well, we did have a couple buffs active. That's from our gourd. Chubby one. We've done the rights. Where's the path? <laughs> the path? Isn't it always there? <laughs> Don't you trick me, you bald, pot-bellied brat! All I'm seeing are mountains, no path at all! He sees wisely with faith. You are daft without it. Cut your nonsense! Ah, you must be that trickster himself, fooling us all along! Take my rake! <laughs> Shame on you! 
are you, brat? Save your stupid path. I'll borrow one myself. Uh, uh, you go on first. I'll meet you at the summit. Uh. Oh, we lose his help. Okay. Are these fires always lit? I forget. Anyway, we haven't rested at a shrine, so all these enemies should be dead. But yeah, I'll see, I'll see. I I mean, sometimes playing this game can be a little frustrating, I would say. It is a Souls-type game with limitations. I mean, you don't lose all your will when you die, for example, but... Um, everything else feels like one. Okay, this is new. Make sure there's nothing over here. Nope. Yeah. But yeah, it's not like I get frustrated. I just... Just take it in small doses, let's say. And the Star Wars game is very similar as well. It's I like these murals on the wall. Star Wars game is very similar in that respect as well. It's like it's very stealth based and therefore it gets a little repetitive to tell you the truth, but still like it, still enjoying it, still figuring it out. Just like this game. Why would you jump up here, buddy? Let's have a look through our stuff. Make medicines. Uh, what's this? So these are the enhanced pellets that we can make. I got three of them already. I don't, you know what? I barely use them. And it's not because they're not useful. It's just you want to use them for bosses and such. But by the time you come to a boss, you have to figure out the attacks the boss has anyway before you use it. And then when you get to actually using it, you've already figured out the boss. Celestial Pear, Golden Lotus. We don't know what we need those for. I want to check the armor as well. I don't know if I can craft. Can't craft a new weapon. This is the one I would be looking for. It's a shame we haven't found any new weapons on the way. It's like for every boss we get armor, but the weapon upgrades a little lacking. I wouldn't swap over to the Rat Sage Staff unless I have to make it. Right now, I like this. And then if we craft armor. I mean, I could craft armor. I'm not really sure what's good. Right now we're using... What are we using? So let's just check what we're using first. So right now we're using... Gale Guard Beast Mask, perfect dodges, Rance Focus. Um, I was thinking about switching to this Pilgrim. I hear Pilgrim set is really good when you max it out. But I don't really want to copy what other people have done. I want to do my own thing. Um, so we're using Gale Guard, two piece Gale Guard, get the perfect dodges, grant us additional focus. In cloud step shrouding black wind could be good as well i mean that everything has its benefits moderately increases the world that's a four piece though i'd rather have two two pieces 
Print speed. Yeah, see, that's the Pilgrim set. It looks really good. This sounds really good as well, but we just don't fight that much in water. It's very situational. And that is just our starting equipment, I guess. And then I've got two bronze pieces on. But just because performing light attack following Evanescence uh, directly triggers. Attack combo deals additional damage on crashing the immobilization. Now, I could swap this out. I'd rather use something that gets me bonus. So, like, maybe... See, there's no point in having two-piece pilgrims on, because sprint speed is kind of negligible, I guess. Um, but the four-piece for pilgrims is really good, really strong. What's this one? Performing three consecutive perfect dodges within a brief moment recovers moderate amount of mana. Very rare that I would actually land three perfect dodges. After a moment in cloud step considerably increases unveiling strike damage. That could be really good as well. But I would need three piece in order to get the dance of the black wind. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's better gear later on that we haven't got to yet. I mean, we're only... I guess we're midway through Chapter 2. I haven't found any more of these. I know there's one in Chapter 2. I, th I think when you talk to the boar, the drunken boar, and do his quest line, I think you get something for that. But yeah, and then I haven't found much in terms of these neither. But so far, I mean, moderately increases defense and um, and the stamina seems to be logical. If this one was moderately increases critical hit chance, I would definitely switch over to it. And yeah, and then our gourd is actually really good as well. So... Yeah. But you know what? I think I am going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to kind of start going back with this game again and, and figure this out. I don't know if we're close to the end of this chapter or what, but I did pick this skill up. When Whenever we get an illusion, it explodes instantly and it deals damage to anything nearby. So if we do have three perfect dodges, it will be three big explosions, right? Um, so we've got this. When stamina is depleted for a weaker lighter attack, it'll be performed. Nah. I'm also thinking of refunding some of these. And then working on some of this other stuff. So I need five more points over here. Heavy attacks that cost a focus point deals additional damage based on the remaining health. Sounds really good, actually. Um, I'm going to get this maxed out. I'm going to get this man up. Whenever you consume a focus point, you get health back. Okay, we got three more points. I'm going to put one here. And then there's my other two. Don't really care about that. I'm just going to manage my stamina use. And I don't really care about that. So I don't want to put any more points in pillar stands. I want to put points in thrust attack. I was looking at one of these skills. I mean, they all look really cool. It just depends. I've never used thrust uh, thrust stands. And smash stands sound still really good. I, I was leveling up smash stands to start off with. Um, I've got immobilized where I want to get it to. I don't think I'm going to get that last one. Oh, 
I would like to level up Cloud Step a little bit more, but I think Pluck of Many is going to be the next thing that I level up. And then I'm going to start leveling up some of these transformations. Each talent level moderately increases the damage of the next attack after perfect dodge. Just it sounds like we should be getting that. Don't know what might stuff is. Yeah, if you got any tips or tricks, let me know. Would love to hear any way I can improve my gameplay. Make things a little easier for myself. But um, yeah, we're just trying to do our own thing right now. And uh, we'll carry on in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.